On today's video, I swim with the manta rays. Make sure to stay until the end for our tips on booking this experience. Abby's getting ready to go. Oh no, she looks scared. Baby, don't be scared. Are you scared of the snorkeling or the manta rays? I don't know. <laughs> You're gonna be just fine, sweet baby. Coming from the guy who's staying on the boat. That is correct. Once everyone in our group was loaded onto the boards, we were guided out to the other excursion groups and tied up to form one long line. Unknowingly, I was in the worst spot since I was on the furthest end. Something to note, your arms will get tired and holding onto the board becomes harder the longer you are out there. I didn't see my first manta ray until the end of our time. Some people around me had given up because they didn't have the arm strength to keep holding on. One of our guides noticed that I had a GoPro with me and offered to take it down and swim so I could get some footage. The only manta that came up to me was while she had my GoPro. So unfortunately, I didn't get any footage of how it looked like from my end. Nonetheless, what she got was pretty awesome.
future Abby and we be here and Nacho. <laughs> um, whenever I was booking this tour, I looked on YouTube all over for videos to try to figure out um, like who to book with, tips and things like that. And I really couldn't find any videos. Um, the main thing I found was just people's experience, which is great. But I thought um, we would kind of record a face to face to tell you some of um, the pluses and minuses to help you be able to book this trip a little better than what we did. My biggest concern about the whole trip was just Abby's seasickness, really. Yeah. And um, so after, now that we had booked it and done that experience, we have a few tips uh, that I think will help because I was super nervous about Abby, <laughs> um, especially when she came out of the water and she looked like she was gonna barf. <laughs> oh boy. Um, so one of the things that we did was, uh, originally I thought I don't want to have uh, a long drive. So we stayed in uh, Waikalua area and um, I noticed that there were excursions out of Kona but there were just um, some other excursions that was a little closer to Waikalua. Without really thinking about um, the possibility of a boat ride, I just booked what I thought would give us a less drive time. What I didn't realize is that every single tour um, happens right outside. Yeah, they all they all like meet up at the same point. Right. So if you left from like the middle of town, then you would be right there. I mean, right. there was literally like a booking tour that was a hundred yards away. Right. So I didn't realize that. I yeah. just thought whoever you book with, you literally just get it in the ocean right there outside of their area and that's not it at all. So our problem was is we had, even though it's a short distance on the map, on this little like diesel fishing boat, um, it took us like 45 minutes just to get to the uh, scuba diving area. Um, by that time, breathing in kind of diesel fumes. Yeah, and, it was it was an older boat. Yeah, and kind of the <laughs> swell of the ocean. I was already teetering on seasick. Yeah. So yeah. if I could do it all over again, I would highly suggest booking from a company that's directly because you're within steps almost right. of where you, you snorkel. Well, and another thing is by the time our boat got there, I mean, you can see from the video, it was super crowded. Yeah. And I don't know if some of that kind of added to probably a little bit of Abby's anxiety. Uh, just because, I mean, she didn't know what the process was going to be and also just how many other boats were in the area. It was kind of chaotic. Um, and so, like, if we had left from the, literally the port right next to it, we maybe would have been, like, the first ones there. Yeah. And it wouldn't have been as bad, maybe. Right. So. It felt like they were kind of, in a way, rushing us into the water because uh, the sun had already pretty much set people were already um, out there on their boards snorkeling and already seeing the manta rays. We were just pulling up. Um, mm -hmm. I was so, I was just so scared being out in the open ocean. He was staying on the boat. Oh yeah, I'm not doing that. <laughs> uh, especially at night, like I'm not getting in the water. Are you kidding me? <laughs> so like, if you don't know this about us, I, I love to swim where I can't touch. And so I'm not afraid of the ocean, but like at night it was scary. Weeby doesn't like water no. in general. Water sports I, I absolutely hate. <laughs> and uh, the idea of getting in the ocean, especially at night and with some large creatures, heck no. <laughs> like, like I don't even want to do like a dolphin experience. Uh, like mm. if my luck, a dolphin would bite me. Oh my gosh. Yeah, no way. One day we will do a dolphin experience. <laughs> she will. <laughs> He'll get footage from the boat. Yeah. Um, <laughs> mm. But, um, <clears throat> It was a pretty cool experience. Um, I was on the very end, so I only got to see one manta like come up and kind of go upside down. Um, and it was pretty cool. It was a little scary, but um, it, it was quite an experience. So I think I would do it again now that some time has passed. Um, That's not what she said that night. That night I was like, no, I'm done. <laughs> Never again. I've done it, I'm not gonna do it again. But it was just because I was so like kind of motion sick. But um, it is pretty cool. And if you get the opportunity to do it, I would do it. So we have a few more Hawaii videos. As you can tell, we're back at home. Um, I've been working full time. So is Weeby. He's had to travel a little bit for work. It's been a really busy lately. So, so I'm a little behind on releasing the Hawaii videos. For those of you who have, um, you know, kept up with us, uh, it really means a lot. And, you know, we read all of your comments and we just think it's so awesome. 
Um, I give a shout out to Brittany. Thank you for watching all of our videos. She says she's number one fan. Go Brittany. <laughs> and let us know in the comments below if you have any questions about the experience that we didn't cover. Yeah, yeah. I'd love to have a chat. Yeah. And if you've done it before, I'd love to hear kind of what your experience yeah. was. So. Yeah, we'd like to hear what everyone else says. Yeah. But we've got some um, kind of plans coming up. We're going to do like a little uh, road trip of the south. We're probably going to go to California and hit up some national parks. So I've got to get these Hawaii videos released because we're going to have new footage coming. Yep. So thanks, guys. Thanks again. Like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God.